everyone welcome back to my channel jesus tv my return subscribers god bless you all my new viewers you're welcome please if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and share my videos and don't forget to comment nicely yes subscription is free they are not charging you for subscribing please add your help this young youtuber to get to 10,000 subscribers and above Okay, so guys, um, a lot of people have been talking about on your if uh, what he said, what he said recently in an interview, how happy he is and how people mocked him and how now that his palace is filled with queens, and somebody made said leftovers, and I was wondering what was what that was supposed to mean, uh, because um. Every woman deserves a chance to be with a man they love, um, whether they have kid, they had kids with their um, ex spouse or not. Okay, so these are the people that has been in love with the king, and for a very long time, and then the king was um, always. The king had this much, uh, this, how do I put it in English? Like, he always wants to be with one wife. He wanted, he had always wanted to be with one wife. From um, Queen Wura, Wura uh, to Queen Naomi, um, before they, uh, they had their differences. I will call it their differences because I used to say it a lot. You don't say husband and wife matter. They know they took them out inside, yes. So, and yes, and before they reconciled. But you all know that... The Ifa priest, according to uh, the king and what people were saying, that Ifa priest, uh, because the king was so depressed, he was so he was so not himself, he was so like his name was literally on every burger's name, everybody's name, and of course you know people feel like, uh, yes, the fault was actually from him because uh, it wasn't from Queen Naomi rather, Queen Naomi left because. Uh, she wasn't comfortable with the things she was seeing in the palace. Um, it was uh, it was because of the women in honor of Ife's life coming around and all that. I guess that brings up the jealousy in her and the I mean the anger. Who wouldn't be angry and jealous? Besides, when you love your husband, you wouldn't want to share. So because of that, she now left the palace. So the king, um, everybody were like blaming the king. Why, uh he would do that to his young wife while letting all these women come to his life and all that. And the other people were actually explaining that this woman has been here for a very long time, even before Queen Naomi. And uh, I don't know that part, if they actually explained to Queen Naomi, but uh, we all know, like, we have all, most of the bloggers have all posted pictures of uh, Olori Toby always visiting the palace. Olori Ronke has always been there. Olori... Uh, Olori actually lived there. He lives in the palace. Uh, Olori Temi Tokwe, I don't know about her, but I know they said um, on if Ife has a relationship with her family because she, she's from royalty. Uh, Olori Elizabeth, I don't know how they met. Olori Marian, of course, you all heard when her friend came out to say, I was the one that introduced you to the king and now you've taken over. So this woman has always been around. So when the Ifa priest said he should marry all of them, that uh, the palace will be filled with women. Of course, a Yoruba king, as only of Ife, is entitled to as many women as he wishes to. Let's not forget that. So why a lot of people said that the possibility of Queen Naomi knowing that only of Ife was going to bring in more wives, more wives was there. I mean, you know he's a king. You know what he's... Uh, you know that... Uh, the the culture that he's entitled to as many women as he wanted to uh, maybe he had a um an agreement with Queen Naomi that she was going to be the only person but he, the women in his life he will still keep them around I don't know but that is it so now he seemed to be very very happy because when you look at his face he's glowing and like every day uh good news every day congratulations from one baby to another, you know, like, it's, it's a thing of joy, you know, like, you see his face is glowing and all the women are walking hand in hand. I recently heard that Olori Ronke has gone to 
has traveled to UK to help her sister, her co-wife, uh, Olori Ashley, in you know nurturing the baby a little before she comes. Not like Olori Ashley doesn't have people to help her. Her elder sister is there too, with her, her elder brother is there in the UK. But uh, you know Olori Ronke is like a big sister to her as well. They are from the uh, from the same lineage royalty, so uh, she acts like a big sister, you know, and like a mom to her too. They said the palace is now filled with happy people. They are all happy, you know, they respect each other, you know, they want to take care of each other, you know. And you all know that um Olori Lisbeth's favorite person is Olori Marian. Yes, she's so close to Olori Marian that um Olori Marian had to according to the vlogger had to fly abroad with her when she was a little um sick and Olori um Temitokwe is a very quiet person, very vibrant. Um you all know she's royalty as well. Uh she always stays on her own, you know, come out when she's needed and all that. They are all doing well. Like the king is literally happy, a happy man, just like he said, and he thanks uh Olisa for he thanks he thanks he thanks God for um he thanked God for the blessings and the women in his life right now and all that. Well, I'm glad he's glowing. I'm glad they are all doing well. I'm also glad that Queen Naomi herself is also doing well. So my people, thank you all so very much for always being here, for listening to my G's for always coming around. Please if you've not subscribed to my channel Please do well to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like and share my videos. And don't forget to comment nicely. Have a blessed day. Bye.